Hey guys, my name is Jared Wellman. I'm an instructor at the Bernardo Free Academy. Here again with Matt, and today we're going to do a very basic ankle lock. So one of the things we want to think about in passing is that our goal is to get around the legs, past the guard. But the legs are often in front of us, and that is something, especially as a white belt and up, that's something we can attack. So check it out. So let's imagine here I'm uh, passing maybe Coach Matt's uh, guard, maybe he's on his back, maybe he's seated, etc. If I'm starting as a white belt, often we're on our knees. As you get much more advanced, you're going to stand up to pass. But when we're here, a lot of the times, we're looking at trying to deal with posture. It's very difficult. If Coach Matt is on his back, he's already made a couple mistakes. Very few people are going to play and let me get to the legs. But look what happens when I stand up. This sometimes is where we're coming. Maybe I'm in headquarter position here, I'm working. Maybe sometimes he sat up and I push him back. I get him back and come here. Maybe it's off of a takedown, but I want you to see this as an entry point. Is anytime I see his ankles and shins, almost the bottom of his pants, and it's hard for him to grip. If I come in deep, he's going to start gripping, and this gets difficult for me because now his feet can find me and put me off balance. But if I'm back here, and he starts trying to grip, it becomes harder. Okay. So what I'm going to look at for an ankle lock, and we'll just show this for a second. Relax your hand for a second. Is I want to get to this ankle, okay, or even this ankle. It doesn't matter. But this angle is the lower one, his knees down, so when I come in here, look, I can step in tight and grip. And as I go, I'm going to post on the floor and come in here. Now, there are two ways to do it. Right now, both of my feet are on this one leg. The second way is my inner leg is on the far leg. So let's start with this first variation. Look at my right leg, that's this guy, and I'm hooking behind his hamstring, almost to the glute. My knee line is past his knee line, meaning I'm not back here. And my foot is coming here, toes down, and I'm pinching heavily on the knee. So I've already gotten here where I have ankle access. So let's show that one more time again. I'm here like this. He's thinking about me passing. Maybe I'm coming here for a circle pass. I'm coming in for a knee slice. But as this foot, I see the ankle exposed. And rather than reach, I'm back here. Look, I step in. One, two. I change my hands here. I bring this ankle to the hip. This is important. So as I post... My foot can come through and I pinch. I'm down on my elbow, knees pinched, foot on his hip. This is important. If I don't have a foot here, he can sit up very easy. Now I can start gripping and defending. When this foot is here, sit up, it frames him, keeps him away. My knees are pinched. Now when I'm here, it's very easy for him to get out of this. That's why it's a white belt technique. But one of the things I like is being on my elbow and here I could pull and bring my hand underneath. Now as I drop to my shoulder, I have, you look, I have a thumb up grip. There are many variations where I grab my gi, I hold my hand, or sometimes I even come here to my bicep and hold. My shoulders are down, and I'm going to arch my back as I pinch my knees. Look, as I come here, I go. A couple things we can think about. I want his toes extended. Okay, If he puts the boot on like this, you guys see his toes? Very difficult. I use my shoulder to bring this back. So as I'm here, he has like a ballerina foot. Second thing, don't be shallow. <laughs> If you look at where my hand is, it's behind his calf. I want to make sure it's right here, if you can see, behind the Achilles. You can feel the difference. So my forearm, this part right here, must be behind the Achilles. So one, I use my shoulder to stop the toes. Two, I bring this hand here. Now when I'm hooked, don't just be here. Bring my thumb in tight. So now I can grip, or like I said, the gi, or here. This is one way. As I'm pinching my knees, Look, I'm going to look over my left shoulder and go. Another way is I come through underneath, bring back here, and go. This is much tighter, but these are different grips. What I want you to think about, if we turn from another angle, is anytime I'm here, I'm looking to pass, I'm moving around his legs, but now, one, two, three, and I'm in. I've already blocked. This hand pulls. I block the toes, get here, drop, and finish. Let's do it from another angle. Again, this is very basic. What's neat about an ankle lock is it's pretty easy to defend, and it, it's easy to feel it coming on so you can tap pretty early on. It's not like a heel hook. So this is allowed at white belt level, straight ankle lock. So look, here I am. If he's on his back and I start walking in, never a good idea. Look, I'm not leaning forward. I'm here. I'm working like this. One, two. Right from here, my foot comes through as I'm coming down. Now I'm in position. Make sure my knees are pinched. So if he starts scooting away, look, I'm stuck to him. Now you can see as I lean this way, 
my hand comes here, I lift up to get that ankle. I'm tight here and I get a tight grip. Go down and pull. There's my finish. What's also cool about this, if he's here and we're attacking this side, I can also look to attack the other side. I can step in, come here, down, now I'm like this. As I fall, here's my grip. I beat the toes, get my grip deep, come here, and extend. So you can attack either foot. What I like really is the last thought. If I'm trying to pass mass guard, he's trying to defend it. Every time I'm here, I'm trying to pass. He's defending. I'm rolling around his legs, over. He's constantly using his legs. Let me come back here. He's using his legs to stop me. But the second I grab one and come in here, now I'm attacking his leg. He starts pulling him away. There's my pass. So I want you to just think about this idea that I don't always have to pass the guard. I can attack the legs. In fact, this is a big part of the no gi game. Don't just pass the guard, attack the legs. If they defend the leg locks, we go back to passing. If they defend the pass, we go back to leg locks. And that back and forth is a really good way to attack and have something to give them uh, something to work with, something to defend. So try it out. Hope it works.